Hey, it's Sheila Social Studies. Guys, welcome back to Sila Social Studies. Today we're going to cover foreign treaties, especially during the 1790s. We're going to cover two treaties in particular. So here we go. The first treaty we're going to dive into is Jay's Treaty, and that's John Jay right there on the right-hand side. Jay's Treaty is signed June 24th, 1795. Jay's Treaty is between the United States and and Britain. So you had representatives from both countries who signed this treaty. What's the treaty about? Well, it sought to settle these disputes that came up between the United States and Britain after the Revolutionary War. What does it accomplish? Well, not much, but it does maintain the peace between Britain and the United States, and it actually helps the United States preserve their neutrality. So let's get into what Jay's Treaty is and why it happened. 1794, November 19th, tensions arising between the United States and Britain over three key issues. The first key issue is British exports are flooding the United States economy and is really tanking our economy. Cheap British goods was not good for the United States economy. That's number one. Number two, the British still occupied posts, military posts, in the northwestern part of what we know of the United States then. Remember, then the United States ended at the Mississippi River because we just got the British's land holdings from the Revolutionary War. So you're talking about land holdings in the Ohio River area, okay? So Britain has said we're we're going to go ahead and get rid of those posts after the after the Treaty of Paris, 1783. Britain said we're going to surrender those posts, but they never did. And the third and the biggest thing that really upset us was the British impressment of American sailors. Britain's impressment of American sailors and seizure of naval and military supplies brought uh, to enemy ports on neutral ships, our ships, uh, brought the United States and Britain kind of head to head. Now, what is impressment? It's not like, check out these guns, I'm impressing you. Impressment is the kidnapping of sailors from another country and forcing them to work in your Navy. So that's what the British were doing. They were kidnapping American sailors and forcing them to work on their ships. Now, that really upset Americans didn't just upset the it didn't just upset the government it upset many Americans. So what is John Jay to do? Well, he looks towards Alexander Hamilton. Hamilton was Washington's right hand man. He had his ear. He's like, listen, I need help. What am I going to do? So uh, Hamilton says to John Jay, he's like, dude, I got a bargaining chip for you. I want you to go to that king. I want you to go to the British government and say, listen, if you don't like give in to our demands. We're going to join the Danish and the Swedish in defending their neutral status and resisting British seizure of their goods by force. We are now going to go ahead and use force. So John Jay is like, dude, that's genius. I can't believe that. We're going to threaten them. This is awesome. I'm heading out. So Hamilton's like, see you later, John Jay, and turns around and picks up the phone and is like, boop, boop, boop. Hey, King, guess what? This is Hamilton. What's up, guys? I know you want to trade with us. We really want to trade with you. John Jay's going to come over there, and he's going to threaten you, and he's like, we're going to use force. If you don't do what we say, he's lying. Our army's too weak. We don't want to do that. I'm your bud. I want to stay trading with you. Okay, King? Thanks. Bye. So Hamilton really sets up Jay for failure when he goes over to Britain. So as he goes over there, he's like, we're going to go ahead and, and use force. And the king's like, blah, 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 John Jay. Keep just spreading your lies because I know you're not going to do it. So John Jay is kind of like sitting there trying to get whatever he can. So what are like the two major accomplishments of Jay's treaty? Well, not much. The first thing is Britain promised again to surrender the northwestern ports in the United States, which they should have already done. They promised to do, but they didn't. And the second thing, ooh, makes Hamilton really happy, but ooh, the United States agrees to a commercial treaty or a trade treaty with Britain making the United States a most favored nation for trade. Jay's treaty is very unpopular with Americans. They're like, why did you just give in to British demands? I can't believe we did that. So Jay's treaty is super unpopular. Now let's get to a popular treaty amongst Americans. This right here, 
Thomas Pinckney, Pinckney's Treaty, October 27, 1795. You have here a treaty between Spain and the United States. So Pinckney's Treaty is a diplomatic success for the United States. Hooray, we are finally successful at a treaty. Prior to the treaty, the western and southern borders of the United States had been a source of tension between the United States and Spain. Why? Remember, the Mississippi River. The Mississippi River has always been important in our history, and here it is again. The U.S. borders after the Revolutionary War extended to the Mississippi River. But the southern stretch remains Spanish territory. So like the southern part of that Mississippi River area is Spanish territory, especially the port of New Orleans. And Spain was like, you're done. Spain uh, kept the Mississippi River closed to American shipping. So anything that was grown out there, we could not send out the port of New Orleans. Bad for us. U.S. citizens from southern states and frontier areas found Spanish policies restrictive, wanted the government to negotiate and go in there, and boy, do they do it, right? So they have Pinckney's Treaty. Now, what's two major accomplishments of Tr Pinckney's Treaty? It resolved territorial disputes between Spain and the United States, and it granted American ships the right to free navigation of the Mississippi River, as well as transport through the port of New Orleans. Huge for the United States. The treaty enabled American settlers to continue westward expansion, and it was very, very popular amongst Americans who now are like, hey, we finally won something. We can travel down the Mississippi River. That is very, very important to the United States. Okay, so you see that we have two different treaties, one very poor with Jay's Treaty, one very good with Pinckney's Treaty. We become a trade partner with Britain, but we finally get use of the Mississippi River, and we can finally send things duty-free or tax-free through the port of New Orleans with Spain.